time for festival we come for your dog. Every time for festival we come for your dog. Every time for festival we come for your dog. We celebration here. Every time for festival we come. For and that is the um, trailer of what Real Time Festival is putting together to help young filmmakers, scriptwriters, and the likes of them. We have a representative from there who is actively involved in this year's Real Time Festival. His name is Francis of Ofwebu. Of oh, I beg your pardon, yes, Francis Onyeka Ofwebu. And he's not just a director, a scriptwriter, he's a movie maker and he's one of the East Enders. And this year he's going to be involved in coaching people in the competition that will be taking place at the Real Time Film Festival. Thank you for joining us, Francis. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you so much for being here. Now, this is obviously as well in partnership with Wazobia Max, as well as our sister and brother companies too. So it's a very exciting time for all of us. Give us the lowdown on exactly what goes on at the Real Time Film Festival every year. Okay, um, uh, for, for starters, um, Real Time Festival, it's a very, it's a very nice um, program. They put out together this festival to showcase African works. Basically, although it's not like just African works, but it's one of the platforms where Africans get to showcase their stuff, especially Nigerians. So um, you have entries from all around the world, and uh, at the end of the day, of course, some people get to go home with some accolades. I mean, we saw 1,123 films from 154 yeah. countries, and I think that's yeah. absolutely brilliant. And uh, the, the first of its kind, we had, we had a very special impute where you don't need to travel. They, they, spoke, they spoke through Sky to some people, and a lot of people participated, not necessarily being on the festival. So it was quite, and for this edition, they are bringing in artists. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be mad. It's going to be massive. A lot of artists are coming in to come, and painters, people that do general arts work, Nikkei Arts uh, Gallery, and a whole lot of others are coming together. And they did this wonderful, unique thing to help a young, uh, young filmmakers in Nigeria put them together and grouped them into different groups. You could just go ahead, register a particular group, and you stand a chance of competing and winning something amazing. Interesting. Yeah. All right, so we gather that this as well the, is the third edition of the Real Time Film Festival. Yeah. So what are the expectations for this year? What, what are we expecting to see this year that we haven't seen in the previous two years? Okay, like I said earlier, uh, one of the basic things that they should expect this year is the paintings. For the first time, they inculcate artwork into film festivals where people can exhibit raw paintings, things that, that normally don't get to be seen in film festivals. Uh, and uh, of course, there's this part that helps to build young filmmakers. So if you're an aspiring fi young filmmaker, uh, I think you can still go on and quickly register and get grouped and uh, get working. You, you have a 24-hour time lapse where you are expected to put out a production. I, for one, am working with East Enders and uh, we are preparing something that, of course, I can't just come and say it here because I'm hoping to get a win. <laughs> so that's between the 28th and the 29th of yes, June. So yes. the span of the Real Time Film Festival is the 24th to the 30th of this month, and the 24-hour competition is taking place between the 28th and the 29th. Now, Francis, over the weekend, I saw something online on Twitter, and it was in relation to, of course, our Super Eagles losing to Croatia, but the person <laughs> went forward to just talk about quality in Nigeria. Okay. And they were saying that... Nigeria is the third largest movie industry in the world, yet we're only that number because of the quality of films that we put out every year and not particularly because of the quantity. Or more like quantity. Sorry, because of the quantity the and not the quality. quality. There yeah. we go. Thank uh, you. Okay. Tongue twister. What is your take on that? Well, I personally do believe that we're getting better. We're getting better. Honestly, I mean, back in the days and... Consider, a lot of people talk about quality, 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 and I keep asking, uh, considering the business and what it takes to really produce content in Nigeria, it's quite uh, challenging, it's quite daunting. Uh, you'd, 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 because no investor wants to just pack money and put into something that probably might not get back the money or talk about the return. So, but so far, with all of this, uh, with all of these uh, festivals around and pushing the content out and getting recognitions, I think our, our quality is gradually improving. Now you, you could go to a set and you see people shooting with red, uh, red camera, red Ari, and some of these big Oh, our music stuff. videos already shoot with red anyway. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> of course, they, they started ahead of the movies. But right now, seriously, a lot of, a lot of things is being done in that regard to like really improve the quality of our productions. And of course, they should just wait out and see how it goes.
Now let's talk about those festivals. You mentioned that we have several festivals. I mean, this is not the only festival we have. Yeah. We have the African International Film Festival. Yeah. We even have the Ake Festival. We're looking at a point where our art industry becomes a, a source of tourism and becomes an export to the world. Yeah. But so far, how well are we faring? How are people accepting our arts and our festivals in Nigeria? How are Nigerians accepting it? Well, uh, honestly, I, I would say we are doing great. We are doing really great, honestly, because uh, for, 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 for the very first time, or not, not, not now, not this year, but in recent times, we've seen uh, films now gross re really big money in the cinemas, as in people really patronize Nigerian-made stuff. So there's, there's huge improvement in, uh, in our consumption ability as a nation. Now, people are getting to appreciate more what we do uh, in, in terms of filmmaking in Nigeria. And I think it's, it's only going to get better. And, uh, I, I, and I hope it does, too, anyway. Interesting. Yeah. So we're looking forward to the um, real-time international festival happening from the 24th yeah. to the 30th of June, but the competition is actually on the 28th and on the 29th. Sure. And we're going to have different participants. Are the entries closed already? No, no, no. The, the entries are still very much available. So people can and submit their films? No, no. For, for submission of films, yes, oh, of course, it's, it's close. In fact, you can go to the website and get out the, the, the dates to screen some films. So you could just make yourself available on some of the master classes that will be, that will be free to, for you to just go check out and learn one or two things as a filmmaker or even as just an ordinary person. Now, you are a filmmaker yourself, and you're yes. looking to do something at the Real Time International Festival. So let's take a look at what Francis has done in the past. Brilliant. So you co-directed that, right? Yes, I, I worked with Ugo, one of my very good friends, uh, back in Onicha, and uh, we put together that uh, Tega. And it was actually uh, screened at uh, Eco Film Festival, Eco Film Festival in 2006. That's amazing. What was the response like to it? A lot, a lot of people really came up to like, say, okay, good work, and uh, we had a lot of um, from our literary messages, and you know how it is. Uh, that was our first time coming out to show, okay, this is what we've done, and this is what we can do. Mm. So from there, it has it has been really amazing. Uh, I've moved from set to set, working with different directors and all of that. Now, why is it important for us to celebrate young filmmakers and to give young filmmakers a platform to actually succeed? Of course, uh, the, the youth are the future of any uh, uh, country. Or You need to constantly, um, uh, th there's no success without successors. So wh when we have capable hands that are vying into the industry and are willing to pay the price, that's what I think every reasonable father should do. Look out for younger ones and coach them into taking on the baton when they are all gone. I, I respect veterans like Kula Lions and uh, Kimon Lions and I, I really respect them and I, but I know that sooner than later I would have to come up and uh, and do what they are doing right and now. And become a veteran yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and let's talk about taking your story from your head to the screen and then to the first festivals as well. There are many people who in the comfort of their homes have stories that the world needs to hear but have absolutely no idea how to start. How did you start and what are the tips you'd give to them? Okay. Uh, to that, I would say a lot of things are quite easier now. A lot of things are quite easier now with with advent of YouTube and social media. Now everybody's a filmmaker. Now what you now do with that platform is all your problem, because uh, the, the, I'd say God. I, I'm, I'm Igbo and I like to refer to my God as she uh, had given us social media as a gift in this 21st century. So you don't have an excuse anymore as a young filmmaker. Put up, put up something. Just make sure, by all means, you are doing something. People will criticize you. You have Facebook. You have friends to talk about what you're doing. Just do something from scripting, but don't script rubbish. Most people just... Filmmaking is not easy. It's not haphazard. You need to, you need to understand the act first. But beyond understanding the act, beyond going to school, beyond doing all of those things, is consistency in doing what you want to do. Don't be afraid to fail. A lot of people are waiting for the big budget stuff, some of the biggest cameras and biggest lights. You, can't, you, you might probably not get to that point. You might, you might probably wait till you die. But if you can start up as a young person, just start up by starting. Just do something. You have the social media now at your beck and call. The YouTube is all there for you. You could just put out content on a weekly basis. And before you know it, I mean, take a clue from Emanuela and the rest of them. 
today we celebrate them. This, these are people that just set up with their mobile phones. So the, the encouragement is do something. Just take out time and do something. Do something that the world will watch and will correct you and will laugh at you and you pick up and you learn. Very important. Yeah. The world will laugh at you, the world will correct you, but yeah. most importantly, you will learn. I think this is something we all need to take away. We need to start. Those dreams, those ideas that you have, they don't need to die in your head. And I'm saying this to myself as well. They don't need to end in your head. You need to take them a step further by doing something about them and be open to criticism as much as you are open to compliments. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being here. How can people get more information about the festival and what you're up to? Okay, um... Of course, a real time international film festival. That's the 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 the, the line. Just go on, on social media. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. And of course, you can check them out. To enjoy more of this, our go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.